Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Whatever the time you are watching us all over the world. I welcome you onto another session by Praying Eagle Network, Lagos, Nigeria. Today, we continue in our team for the month of November, that is, rest. Our text remain, the basic text remain the same. Isaiah chapter number 14 and verse 3. And it says, And it shall come to pass in that day, which obviously is today without fail, that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrows. To me, that suggests that rest is a gift from God. That suggests to me that God acknowledge that there, there will be sorrow. He shall give you rest from your sorrow. Somebody is hearing me now. Somebody is watching me now. And by the spirit of prophecy, I fasten this scripture to your life that this day without fail. The Lord is giving you rest from all manners of sorrows in the name of Jesus. Is it generational sorrow? Ascensor sorrow? Parental sorrow? Whatever it is. Hear the word of the Lord. According to this scripture, the Lord is giving you rest right now in the name of Jesus. That sorrow, that sorrow shall no more continue. It is ending today. And then number two, from your fear, all the manners of fear, tormenting fear, harassing fear, all manners of fear, he said he's giving you rest from fear. That means that fear is coming to an end today in the name of Jesus. Whatever the cause of the fear, whenever the fear has started, according to this scripture, is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. That means God is taking away spirit of rest, uh, of fear, and then giving you spirit of rest. And then number three, from hard bondage, from hardship, three things now, the Lord is taking away from you. Number one, he's taking away sorrow, fear, and hard bondage. Permit me to remind you that in the beginning, all these things were not part of God's agenda for man. But whatever happens in Genesis chapter 3, all this came in. And we thank God that God knew that this thing will come in. So he provided a way out so that there will be peace in our life. So that there will be rest in our life. So that instead of sorrow, instead of fear, instead of hardship, he is going to give us rest. Permit me to say that there are three types of rest. There is the bodily rest, there is the soulish rest, and there is eternal rest. In Matthew 11, verse 28, Jesus himself said, Come, all that are in sorrow, all that are in bondage, all that are being manipulated, all that are being oppressed. He said, Come unto me, and I give you rest. From this, I conclude that there are three types of rest. Number one, bodily rest. Inside bodily rest, you have financial rest, you have uh, rest from sickness and all that. Then number two, soulish rest. That is where you become born again. Your soul now have rest in the Lord. Then the third one is the eternal rest. 
That is the one they write P R I P. If the person sleep in the Lord, these three rest. They are for me and you to ask if we believe, and God is going to deliver it. Bodily rest. That is healing from sickness. That is take away poverty. Anything that oppress your body. Anything that did not allow your body to function well. And the Lord said today, I will give you rest. I pray for you as you are hearing me, as you are watching me. That bodily rest is coming to you today in the name of Jesus. Your season of pain, the season of bodily pain, bodily sorrow, lack and all that is coming to an end today in the name of Jesus. Now, we look at uh, Exodus chapter 1. Let's look at Exodus chapter 1. Still talking about rest from sorrow, rest from fear, and rest from bondage. Exodus chapter 1. And then reading verse 13 and 14. And the Egyptian made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. To serve with rigor. That means behind this sorrow, Behind this pain, there is a power. There are people that instituted it. There are people that back it up. There is a power that is energizing it. Here, we know that it was the Egyptian that were creating sorrow for the children of God. They make them to serve with rigor. Wherever you are today, I pray for you. Every power, every individual that is making you to serve with rigor, today the Lord deliver you absolutely in the name of Jesus. Verse 14. And they made their lives bitter. <laughs> and they made their lives bitter. They made their life bitter. Whatever that is making your life bitter, today the Lord will turn it around and your life will become sweet in the name of Jesus. Rest from bitterness is coming your way now. Rest from bitterness. Rest from rigor. Whatever you are doing, that is is becoming rigor. It's becoming pain. Too painful. Extraordinarily painful. This day come to an end in the name of Jesus. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. In mortar. And in bricks, and in all manners of service in the field, all their service wherein they made them serve with rigor. Rigor is for violent vibration of body. Are you in that category? I announce to you today, as the Lord liveth, and His Spirit liveth. The power behind your ego, softitude, pain. That power is colliding with the power of God to dismantle it in the name of Jesus. Today is your day of rest. Thank God today is the last day of November 2023. I have a good news to you for you. As this November is rolling away, never to be seen. Your sorrow, your fear, your pain, your hardship will roll away with this month in the name of Jesus. As you step into December tomorrow, you step into joy, into peace, into rest in the name of Jesus. Now, rest is one of the gifts from the Lord. Let us look at what rest look alike now. Now, praise the Lord. In Exodus chapter number 3, having highlighted the 
sorrow that the Israelites were going about. At the point, after the expiration of 400 years, the Lord came up into the scene and he told he, he told he told uh, uh, he told Moses that the game is up for the Egyptian. Don't forget that behind the sorrow of, of the Israelites, behind their fear, behind hardship, there are the Egyptians. Now, in Exodus chapter 3, verse 7, And the Lord said, I have seen the affliction. God has seen your affliction. I have seen the sorrow. I have seen the pain. As you are hearing me, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord said, he has seen that pain. He has seen that affliction. So, instead of those pain, he has ordained rest for you. He's giving you rest now. Rest from, uh, from your hardship. I have seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of the tax master. Every tax master that the devil appointed for you today, they are retired in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are, in your father's house, in your place of work, all those evil tax masters, today have you retired them in the name of Jesus. Today, everyone causing you pain, causing you sorrow, causing you hardship, today mark their end in your life in the name of Jesus. And I am come down. Hear the word of God. He said, I am come down to deliver. Today, the Lord deliver you. From that generational hardship, from that ancestral sorrow, from that pain, from that trauma, in the name of Jesus Christ today, the Lord come down and deliver you. In the name of Jesus, I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of Egyptian. Whatever that Egyptian represents in your situation, in your circumstances, hear the word of the Lord. God is here now to deliver you in the name of Jesus. As you are looking at me, as you are saying amen, as you are traveling this journey, spiritual journey with me now, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord is delivering you now in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how many years you have been there. It doesn't matter how it looks like. Maybe you have been thinking, am I going to die like this? Is it going to continue? It is not going to continue. It is not come unto me. Call upon my name in the day of trouble, in the day of fear, in the day of pain. He said, and I will give you peace and I will give you rest. This day, the peace and the rest that God has ordained for you, receive it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever that behind your sorrow, today they are leaving you in the name of Jesus. They are leaving you absolutely. God said, I am come down to deliver them. And deliver them from where? From hardship to peace. From sorrow to joy. I am come down to deliver them. And bring them out, out, up, out of the Egypt, land of Egypt. And to take them to a good land. That good land is starting now. You are stepping into that good land. Not 1st uh, December. Which is still few hours away. Right now as I speak. Right now as I speak. You are stepping into that good land now. In the name of Jesus. A very large land. Rehoboth. Elim. Where there is peace. You are stepping there now in the name of Jesus. A land that flowed will mean. That is the land of rest. That is the land of peace. That is the land where there is no sorrow. Enough of sorrow in your life. Enough of hardship in your life. God did not ordain you. He said after you have suffered a, a while. He will deliver you. God will not deliv deliver you from suffering into hardship. He can only deliver you from suffering into peace. He can only deliver you from hardship unto rest. And that is... What I am declaring to you now, that in the name of Jesus Christ, your season of hardship is over now in the name of Jesus. That Egyptian of hardship, 
You know, when the Israelites left Egypt, the Egyptians were still following them, trying to bring them back into hardship. Hear me, in the name of Jesus Christ, every Egyptian of hardship, every power behind hardship that say you want to follow you to, to December, I command that power to scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. They will never succeed in the name of Jesus. I declare by the spirit of prophecy, the season of sorrow, fear, and hardship is gone in your life forever in the name of Jesus. He said, I am coming. I have come to deliver them. Some of us know the story. Moses went to Pharaoh, let my people go from this hardship, from this fear, from this uh, hard bondage, from this slavery, from this rigor. And what was the reply of Pharaoh? He said, I don't know that God. They are going nowhere. Hear me. Every power that is contending with your freedom, I command Holy God fire to destroy that power in the name of Jesus. Every power that is saying, it is not now. It is not time for you to be free. That power shall be wasted in the name of Jesus. Every voice, wherever they are coming from, from your root, from your foundation, from your place of work, that is saying, the time has not come for you to enter into your rest. In the name of Jesus, I command that power to be wasted. In the name of Jesus, rest is a gift. Coming to Jesus Christ is like going into rest. Praise the Lord, but it doesn't automatically work like that. The day we enter, we have to contend with certain power. You will remember that the, the Pharaoh tried to resist the Israelites from entering into their rest. Even after they left, after the tenth miracle, where the blood intervened, and then their firstborn died, and they said, okay, they pushed them out. After they left, to enter into their rest, they still pursue them. Hear me? That power pursuing you, that power contending with your rest, today they are wasted in the name of Jesus. No matter how powerful, no matter where that power is coming from, I declare by the authority in the word of God that those powers, they shall be wasted in the name of Jesus. Every power contending with your rest, contending with your peace, contending with your advancement, contending with your marriage, contending with anything good in your life. Today, that power is wasted in the name of Jesus. That power is wasted in the name of Jesus. No more sorrow. No more fear. No more hardship. No more debt. The Lord is making a way for you in the name of Jesus. Matthew 11 verse 28. He said, come unto me all that labor. He sent the invitation. All you need to do is to accept the invitation by believing that he that promised, he will fulfill it. What did he promise? He said, I will give you rest. I will give you re rest that you can never find in the hotel. Rest that you can never find in the most beautiful garden in the world. I mean, rest in your soul. I mean, rest in your body. I mean, rest in your work. I mean, rest in your labor. I will give you rest. Now, in the book of Exodus, chapter number 3. Now, let's look at what that rest look like. Chapter number 3 and verse chapter number 3 and verse 13. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is a gift of God. That is rest. You labor, you eat, you have enough to feed your family, you are free from death. That is rest. That is rest. That is rest which God promised. And if God promised and you believe, 
it must be so i am still praying every power contending with your rest that say you will not eat the fruit of your labor every power that say you will not move forward to the next level let that power be wasted now in the name of jesus let that power be wasted now pharaoh contended which he said i don't know that god i must pursue them what happens to him all is all amory all is armor everybody perish i am praying every power that say the, you in your labor in your hardship they want to follow you to december december one which is your few hours away i declare it shall not in the name of jesus god will not permit them in the name of jesus. as you walk in as you enter into rest now and walk into december to continue in the rest every power that want to enter into that rest sea, they will perish there in the name of jesus here i read to you again and also that you must eat and drink and enjoy the good of all your labor it is the gift of god that is rest let's look at another one in chapter 5 excellency chapter 5 and verse 19 again every man also to whom god has given riches god has given riches wealth and given him power to eat thereof the lord give you riches the lord give you rest the lord give you in abundance the lord give you peace in the name of jesus they are all gifts of god and to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor this is also gift of god spread forth your hand and receive that gift now in the name of jesus gift of riches from above wealth power to enjoy it to rest from sorrow receive it now in the name of jesus that is the gift of god praise god now rest is a gift it is every good and perfect gift is from above rest is one of them there is nothing like there's nothing as good as to have rest ah have rest i pray today the rest the spirit of rest of god let it rest upon you rest upon your work rest upon your marriage in the name of jesus there is financial rest there is health rest there is moral rest there is social rest there is spiritual rest all of them is from above is from god i decree them upon you now in the name of jesus the rest of your life shall be in rest the rest of your day shall be in rest the rest of your year shall be in rest the rest of your labor shall be in rest in the name of jesus in the name of jesus god did not ordain me and you for sorrow stress suffering fear hardship death and sickness that's why jesus said come unto me come unto me i will replace them i will replace them have you been laboring for years there seems to be no rest you will do well to remember the story of uh, of uh, peter in luke chapter number five he said we have been here all night we have labor all night we have stretched ourselves all night but there is nothing to show for it does that one de describe your labor this is the 11th month and there is nothing you can point to and say this is what i have achieved hear me the few days remaining this year you will have testimony of rest in the name of jesus you will have testimony of rest in the name of jesus i declare it i decree it i affirm it i confirm it for from now on to the rest of your days at your old age it shall be peace in the name of jesus sickness is not part sickness is not rest nobody say well you are resting yes i'm resting in sickness no nobody can say i'm resting in poverty nobody can say i'm resting in all those are anti-rest whatever that is anti-rest whatever it is anti-rest that did not allow your, your life to follow to follow rest today the law is returning them in the name of jesus the lord is returning them in the name of jesus behind all this fear 
behind sorrow, behind rigor, behind hardship, there is a power. And when God will dismantle power, when God dismantle the power of Egyptian, they escape. And as they escape into the wilderness, what happened? They begin to experience rest that they have not seen for 400 years. They begin to experience rest. Food begins to come from above. No sickness in their body. No borrowing. No hardship. Everything was going according to. Even people that want to stop them, they did not succeed. Because that is the order of God. Because God has done it before and he can do it again. Today, you are entering to your rest in the name of Jesus. You are entering, your story is changing today in the name of Jesus. If you have never known what it is to rest, you are knowing it from now in the name of Jesus. Peter said, we have been here all night and we catch nothing. But Jesus speak rest into his life. He said, launch into the deep. Into the deep. And as he launch, the empty net, it doesn't need to go far. We are the same place where he had been suffering losses. The fish that have run away, they assembled themselves inside the net. All your blessings that are scattered abroad, all your blessings that ran away, I call them forth to you now in the name of Jesus. I call them forth to you in the name of Jesus. You enter into your rest. You enter into your rest. Financial rest. You enter into your rest. You enter into your rest. Spiritual rest. You enter into your rest. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your days of sorrow is over. The Lord wants me to tell you and assure you that day of sorrow is over. In the name of Jesus, thank God today is the last day. I can stand upon the revelation of that. I declare to you, today is the last day you will ever know sorrow in your life in the name of Jesus. No more begging. No more borrowing. You will not be you will not be a parasite in the name of Jesus. The Lord establish you as, a, as somebody for him. Not that only God is blessing you now. Not that God is giving you rest now. Through you people will have rest in the name of Jesus. For those of us that come from the village, you will see a, a, a very big tree that spread and you see people sitting underneath in the sun, and breeze will be blowing them. You are that tree in the name of Jesus. And the Lord establish you today in rest. People will sit under you, they will have peace, they will have rest in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, they will fulfill their destiny in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, Let's look at uh, uh, Exodus chapter number 15. Rest from verse 23. The Israelites on their journey, they came to Mara. Mara is a place of bitterness. Mara is a place of contention. Mara is a place of argument. Before they got what they wanted, at the end of the day, there was argument, there was this, there was that. But something happened in verse 27, and that is where I am going. And they came to Elim. Oh my God. That is the place of rest. What do we have in Elim? Where there were 12 wells of water. 12 wells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve words. Enough to feed them for their lifetime. Have you been coming from El uh, from Mara? Have you been coming from a place of contention? Have you been coming with a place where people are uh, uh, they were obstructing you? Hear me. You are coming to Elim now. 
in the name of Jesus. Where there are 12 wells of water and three score and ten palm tree. For those of us who can interpret spiritual things, you know what that 12 wells mean. 12 wells mean. They did not dig it. They just enter into it. They enter into rest. They don't contend with this one. It's divine provision divine peace divine rest it's not like you are coming from a very hot weather and you are sweating and then you enter into an apartment into a room into a store where there is air conditioner chilling very cold in fact by the time you finish your assignment there you don't feel like going back because you have rest you are no more sweating Sweating for nothing, spiritual sweating for nothing. It has come to an end in your life today in the name of Jesus. You will no more sweat for nothing in the name of Jesus. They came to Elim. Say, I come to my Elim. I come to my place of peace, my place of rest, my place of Rehoboth. No more sorrow, no more pain in the name of Jesus. And then three score 70 palm tree and they encamped there by the waters and they encamped there by the waters no wonder psalm 23 tells us a very beautiful story of how to have rest i know you know it but please let me remind you let me read it to, uh, to you again the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pasture, place of rest. Not in a parched land. Not in a barren land. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Still waters. Where I can drink. Where I can get refreshment. That is where the Lord is taking you now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. He restore my soul. He restore my famished soul. He restore my life. He restore my marriage. He restore my finance. No more busy. No more hardship. In the name of Jesus. And they lead me in the path of righteousness. He is the one leading me, not in my own righteousness. Today, the Lord is leading you in the path of righteousness. In the name of Jesus. You are lying down in green patches. No more in patched places. No more in barren land. In the name of Jesus. And you are now arriving at your Elim. In the name of Jesus. He said, even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of the earth, I will fear no evil. You will fear no more evil. You will no more fear. You will no more fear in the name of Jesus. Receive confidence, receive boldness to follow the Lord, to leave this rest in the name of Jesus. The rest you are uh, you are taking today is not exclusively for you. It is big enough for others to come and find rest in you, inside your rest in the name of Jesus. You are coming in Genesis again. Chapter number 26. Chapter number 26. After so many contentions, after so many arguments, after so many opposition, what happens to to uh, to uh, to Isaac? Praise the Lord. He, he told us that and they removed from thence, dig another well, and for that they strove not. That is rest. At last, a dog won a sec. They contend with him. They snatch it. He drove another one, Sitna. They contended with him. He dropped it. He did not give up. You cannot give up. This is your session. I see you in the next 24 hours jubilating your rest. I see you 
in the next 24 hours, maximum of three days, having a breakthrough of rest in the name of Jesus. That is where you have been struggling and struggling and struggling. Rest has taken over in the name of Jesus. That fish that has scattered abroad, they are locating you now in the name of Jesus. And they strove no more with him. And they call the name Rehobo. Rehobo is a place of peace and rest. You have arrived at your Rehobo. Say after me, I have arrived at my Rehobo. In the name of Jesus. All those people contending with my breakthrough, the Lord have retired them. They will not follow me into December. Their end is now. In the name of Jesus. My peace is now. My rest is now. It is established. In the name of Jesus. Anointing of rest fall upon me. Anointing of peace fall upon me. Anointing of progress fall upon me. Go on and declare it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Not only that you are in this rest. Your family enter you with that rest. In the name of Jesus. You are moving forward in rest. No more backwardness. In the name of Jesus. No more sorrow. It is over. It is over. Season of rest. Season of peace. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless your labor. In the name of Jesus. You will not lose any battle. Every power contending with your rest. They are hereby wasted. In the name of Jesus. Let there be bodily peace. Let there be bodily rest. Is there sickness in your body? I declare, I declare peace and rest in that body. Let that sickness disappear now. In the name of Jesus. That negative medical report. I tear it. In the name of Jesus. It shall not prosper. No weapon of negative medical report in your body shall prosper in the name of Jesus. As I declare peace and rest in your body, let every organ in your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, let them begin to function properly. Let them begin to function properly in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, your season of rest enter into your body, enter into your finance in the name of Jesus. That debt, the Lord wants me to tell you, is paid already. Miraculously, that debt in the order of the widow of uh, the prophet, miraculously, that debt is, is, is paid in the name of Jesus. That dark law against you, that you will not move forward. I command you to move forward. And as you are moving forward now, the door is opening in its own accord. In the name of Jesus. People that have forgotten you, they will now begin to remember you. Hear me, and the Lord liveth and the Spirit liveth. Within the next 24 hours, you will hear call. You will receive call. Call of breakthrough. Call of breakthrough. Call of good news. They make me to hear peace. Make me to hear joy. Make me to hear rest. That the bone that are broken, that will be restored. Today, in the next 24 hours, you will receive call that will restore all the broken bones in the name of Jesus and you are moving forward in peace and rest you are moving forward no more sorrow no more sorrow no more sorrow I speak to that much marriage let there be restoration in the name of Jesus are you looking for job have you been jobless hear me before this year runs out the Lord will surprise you the Lord will surprise you are you having a shop? Are you selling something as if there is no more life there? Hear me. I speak rest. I speak resurrection. I speak life into that business. Let it begin to come back to life. That business will begin to prosper. Miraculous will begin to prosper. Customer will come in the name of Jesus. Customer will come in the name of Jesus. That debt, you owe that bank. The, one, the Lord wants me to tell you is paid. The Lord said, I will surprise you. And God is surprising you now. In the name of Jesus. Now finally, can I ask you to put your hand on your head? I declare upon you in the name of God, the Father, God, the Son, 
God, the Holy Spirit, the, the spirit of rest now in the name of Jesus. Every strange fire in your body, kindled by enemy, every strange fire in your business, in your marriage, I command them to be put out now in the name of Jesus. Let the rest of God run through your body. In the name of Jesus, I sprinkle upon your body water of rest, water of peace, water of healing. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Your case is settled. Rise up and walk. Rise up and do well. Rise up and make progress. Rise up and testify. On that room where you have cried, you will smile there. In that journey where you have been walking, you will ride your car. In that environment, you have been the, the, the landlord has been harassing you. You will build your own house. In the name of Jesus, anointing of Ephraim and Ephraim, let it rest upon you that I have seen joy where I have been afflicted. It's resting upon you now. In the name of Jesus, anointing of Ephraim, let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, where you have seen sorrow, you will see joy there. Where you have seen failure, you will see success there. In the name of Jesus, it is well with you. Your life will prosper. In Jesus' wonderful name, I pray. Amen. Peace, rest, glory. Amen. Praise God. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend. You and I will one day leave this world and our spirits will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.